My brother, I've known you for at least 15 years and all the years I've seen you out there hustling, working, detailing cars, car washes, working for the gas station, working for the car wash. And you tell me when you get out of the hospital, you went around this area and no one would let you use the restroom? Man, what I'm telling you is that people seem to forget that they're human. People forget to get everything about God they always preach and want you to receive but ain't gonna live by. People always want somebody else to talk about so they can forget themselves. People are willing to be self-seeking, self-serving, self-designed and want to lift itself above everybody. We all breathe the same and walk on the same turf, the same earth. God ain't created number one body. He made two beings, a male and a female. There are no differences. Anything else is a far future lie. If government and politicians are gonna lose you, screw you, they're gonna mislead you and keep this shit polluted, deluded, and confused. Why are so many blacks attacking other blacks? Why are Mexicans attacking other Mexicans? What the hell it come from and why is it going on? Somebody is arting these folks, somebody is leading these folks, somebody is maneuvering these people. So manipulation and control. People desire control. So a man, how about he own a woman? What the fuck you own? You bleed every month like she do? When she take a pipe, you take it too? I damn you a man. How the hell you gonna own a woman? You can't be a woman by it if you're a man. You can't be a, a man if you're a woman. I get lost and confused because these babies out here need somebody to care about them. And don't nobody give a shit. But everybody talking. As long as they're doing good, they got a little material and a whole bunch of money, some shit gonna be fucked off anyway. But see, America tax you for everything. The fucking very breath you breathe. Government, that white man want his money. He don't give a fuck about nothing else. You see, government officials, government politicians, I don't support that motherfucking black dude up in that office right now. He's such an Uncle Tom, shaky motherfucker. The motherfucker ain't never stood up for no black community. Not when the real things come. Not where it really counts. Now, let I, me ask you this. I mean, the, the main reason I'm recording is not so much talking Fair about come. politics. Woo. It has to do with the fact that you were telling me after getting out of as many places I'm, I've I'm seen you, you as many places I've seen you work and I've seen you go through your ups and downs and I know you've had your struggles and you still have your struggles but here in in Texas you've Texas. gone to places and they have not allowed you to use the restroom Texas. What, what kind of stuff is that what where is humanity going what would you say about that when animals become greater than men and more respectful of men and more more um, respectful, more embracing the man to God's life given. An animal has never changed. Do you know that animals, the males raise their babies? The males train their babies? They gonna make sure they eat. They gonna feed them. What the hell is a man with a brain that don't think, that can't use it? If you can't use something, you ain't no man, you just a shell. A man ain't something that exists in the physical form. A man is only what he is from the inside. And if you ain't shit on the inside, it don't matter for how much money you got, how much material you got, you still ain't shit. And you don't give a shit. And your action is gonna prove and show just what you are. You see, you can say you fuck me, but you can't fuck me. You see, I was broke to you. Even though many, many centuries ago, long, long time ago, if it wasn't for my past, I wouldn't have a present. If it wasn't for the present, I can't have no fucking future. So yeah, I care about them little kids out there. I care about them young men out there. Don't nobody want to treat them, but everybody want to talk about them. Don't nobody want to lift people up, but everybody want to put each other down. Don't nobody want to be the same. Everybody trying to find something to be different about. It. When you breathe and you bleed and you come in this world through the same candles as other other beings, it doesn't matter. You're white, black, you jack, whatever you claim. That's a fucking land, a land name. You ain't that. You're a human being. I don't need no brand. God branded me when he made me a human being in the image of him. So if I have no emotion to care about nobody else, then what would they going to deal with and accept them on their terms? Because I want them to accept me on my terms. You can't control me. I'm not going to feel you. If you got a gun, fuck it, shoot it. If you got a knife, stick me. What the fuck? You ain't going to do nothing to me that ain't already been done, even if it's done to another one. As long as I live, I'm going to stand up for something right. Because anybody can do wrong. It don't take shit to do nothing. You ain't even got to go through nothing. Not to care. 
But when you start caring, you're actually going to lead you to do things that show you care. I speak to a lot of people. They don't see me. They can talk about me. But can't never want them to give like me. Can't never want them to love like me. Don't never want them to have the knowledge that God has given me. Don't never want them to have the spirit that God's going to do. Even when I fuck up, I got a God to carry me still. See, I try to lay my own body down. So another motherfucker can't do nothing but help me, brother. So when one of these Uncle Tom slave motherfuckers shoot their gun, go tell your master, you've done this service. Make sure you get your money, because he didn't fuck you out too far that he and you. No, he didn't. They got the institution for that. Ah! <laughs> yeah. So as you work them crops out there in the penitentiary, and locked up like a goddamn animal, obedient like an animal, train like an animal and keep responding like an animal because you can't use your brain. You have nothing in that motherfucker but they put them in the book and you refuse to read because knowledge is power. Many motherfuckers don't want power. Not real power when it counts. Fighting with this is nothing. This past. Fighting with this you'll never forget. Never lose. Mm. God bless you, bro. It's good to see you, man. Thank you for just speaking something that's real. And Brother, you know, there's a police right here in Tengua in West Hamlet. Police and another guy, a little white Toyota, came out there, caught me across the street, and intentionally ran me over. When I first came out here, when I first moved out here, I moved out here behind a woman. Because if I'm with somebody, I'm going to be where they at. I'm not going to let them go by themselves. This being said, you remember when I used to go around with a basket, with a bag, mm -hmm. a, uh, uh, run them a clothing bag, mm -hmm. with my supply, they call, call the police on me, walking up Wesley. The police came and put handcuffs on me, put me in the back seat of a motherfucking car, because a black man, <laughs> he said, I got a call that a black man walking on the street with a bag. I said, okay, what the fuck I done? And what I got to do with that? You got a badge and you don't give a shit. I'm a black man carrying a bag. I got my own supply. And you mad? Was a bag full of cleaning supplies? That's all I'm having now. And if it ain't that, whatever I got is going to be mine. But stealing, beat, cheating, robbing, trying to get over, trying to get slick, that ain't for me. In my young animalistic days, in my animalistic mentality, in the brutality of society, they don't want what I used to be, but they fuck women like they do. And every single time I have snap, they get to holler about I'm crazy, or they didn't know I'm crazy. Motherfucker, I ask you, leave me be. If I owe you, I'ma pay you. If I got something from you, I'ma give it back. If I want something from you, I'ma ask for it. Anything I need, I can work for. I am a man. I depend on nothing other than God and the breath of life. And I told God he can have this shit anytime he want it. You see, loving people is a hell of a time. I done been hit in the head behind my own cigarette. But he said he a drug dealer. And he came by cigarette. I done been, I done been so-called played with and talked with him. Yeah? And then motherfucker bring it out of me and bring back some of the old me. It's so many times. I get sick and tired of my mind and my heart. And my mind and heart say, a lot of these brothers out here just need removal. Because they ain't gonna never be brothers. They number some ass slaves. They just animalistic ass motherfuckers that can't think, don't wanna think, ain't gonna do nothing but what a white man told them or some other form form to them. You see, I can't live like that. Because if you tell me something, I ain't telling my God. You don't feel a lot of brothers just haven't had any upbringing? I feel they don't give a shit. Because upbringing is, is real. And when they, when they tell you about, about about your history, when they put their movies on in school, when they give you them books to read, if you fail to read it, you fail your damn self. So you didn't want it. Because if history don't matter, science don't matter. Science don't matter, genetics don't matter. Genetics don't matter, the world don't turn. The world don't turn, there's nothing that exists. Life is the breath of life that exists in every single fucking thing that you can see. And without the oscillation of God Almighty's given life, 
within you, not outside of you. You don't have nothing to live for or live by. Everything deteriorates, including your car, sir. It needs, it depends on oxidations of God's living life to function. Mm. This is not no mathematic genius. It's simplicity. Ain't no past, ain't no present, ain't no future. Ain't no future, ain't no present, ain't no past. Then nothing exists. So anybody say that he can't embrace himself, he's lying. He don't want to embrace himself because reaching out to somebody, you have to give some up for yourself. When you give some up, you feel like you're lost, and you do. When I leave this world, well, I guarantee you, this body gonna come just like it can. I won't even have the clothes that they put me in. Matter of fact, I tell all my people, don't even come around me. You were not done when I was suffering, and I was going through my shit. You didn't give a fuck then, so I don't care now. You see, I'd have been beat in penitentiary. I'd have been wrong. I'd have been down, down, jail. But they never chill my hope. They never chill what I drive for, what I strive and hope to see. I'm not a monkey and king. I'm a reality of what I feel. And I am what the fuck they see. So let them talk, because whatever they talking about, I fulfilled it. 